Zip here. I've got a video for you. It's about uh, basic seamanship and gunnery in World of Warship Split. I just started playing. I'm enjoying the game. The game is going to drop in the U.S. officially soon, and there's going to be a lot of new players. I figured I'd put together this video in order to help people learn the ropes more quickly. I'm not going to go to uh, anything uh, really complicated or in-depth here, so let's just get started with the very, very basics of seamanship and gunnery. So let's start by going over the basics on how to move the ship around. Uh, obviously, uh, I'll have to pick a control layout. I like the standard control layout, so that's what I'm going to use here. Push on the up arrow on the le bottom left of the screen there, and you just go forward to half power. Hit it again, you go up to full power. Um, full power gives you the maximum speed of the ship. You don't always have to go full power, people. Uh, a lot of people just go uh, balls to the wall, but really uh, half power sometimes is called for if you don't want to leave the other ships in your formation behind. Uh, putting the uh, arrows all the way back will stop you and reverse you. If you want to stop faster, go all the way to reverse. It'll stop your forward momentum a lot quicker. You can also use this trick to, uh, to kind of power you backwards when you're turning sharply, so you can reduce the radius of your turn by doing that. Uh, you can also increase the radius of your turn and keep a little bit more forward speed while you turn by constantly tapping the right or the left depending on the direction you want to go and keeping the rudder about halfway over. You also stabilize a lot more quickly so it's good for fine adjustment. If you go all the way over you turn a little bit sharper but you lose a lot more speed. So if you just need to do a gradual change in direction you don't want to lose any speed just try moving the rudder over halfway and uh, letting it go halfway. Here you can see me tap reverse while I'm trying to change direction. Uh, turn very sharply here, and I'm doing this to decrease the radius of my turn. The key when using this technique is not to let your forward speed drop below half. So I tend to tap forward and tap backwards, uh, or into reverse rather, in order to maintain somewhere between full and half to increase that radius of turn, or decrease rather that radius of turn. This is extremely useful to uh, when you have to turn sharply in order to get your torpedoes on target when running destroyers or cruisers. Another basic technique I like to, to use when driving my ship around is I use my rangefinder bar uh, in regular view here. You can see the white horizontal lines that kind of gives you a range indication when shooting. But anyway, I use that. I line up my ship so I'm not going to hit anything like uh, islands or icebergs or whatever. Uh, so this way I can just concentrate on shooting and not have to worry about the obstruction. Getting into basic gunnery now, um, I'm just going to point out some of the things that uh, are important to note. Uh, most notably the circles you see. The circles you see, some are going to be green, some are going to be orange, and some are going to be gray. The gray circles are guns that cannot possibly make it to where the uh, cursor is currently pointing. Uh, yellow indicates that the gun is traversing and will eventually become green on target and green is when they are on target and you also see it dances a little bit as the yellow circles move and are on target so you know they've uh, arrived at destination. Uh, this is very useful when you're going to be um, prepping to fight because you can kind of gauge which uh, guns will be active. If you look at the the horizontal bars at the bottom, just above the uh, the tool uh, the repair kit there, you'll see which ones are green, which ones are yellow, and it kind of gives you an idea of how many guns you actually will be able to bring to bear at the direction you're currently looking to shoot it. So this is a very valuable thing to keep in mind when you're setting up for battle, especially in battleships with their slow moving turrets. Uh, gauging where the enemy is going to pop up first and moving the ship into a position where most of your turrets will be able to be brought on target at the very onset instead of waiting for them to traverse before you can start getting uh, points for the team this is a critical thing so whenever you start off battle try to figure out where you're going to be shooting at and kind of get your turrets over so they're ready to go when it comes to actually firing the guns there's a few different ways you can do it um, one way I enjoy doing uh, gunnery is by shooting individual shots uh, or using the turrets uh, one at a time. Uh, this way you can gauge how the first shot goes and adjust for the next shot. So if you have a target that's moving around a lot, this guy here in this uh, clip is, is pretty stationary, but he starts to move around. And as his aspect towards me changes, because I'm moving and he's moving, I can shift targets very easily and keep my shells raining in on him. Uh, 
on a human player, this would also have a psychological effect because they're going to start paying attention to you instead of the rest of your team. So you can use that to distract or, or uh, harass a larger opponent. Um, the other thing that you can do with this as well is that uh, you can target citadels more easily when you're using battleships. So you, you fire once, kind of gauge where the, uh, uh, the shots are going to land, and then you can adjust to try and hit the citadel. By doing it this way, you also have the advantage of gauging where the one shot goes. So if you want to start lobbing in salvos of multiple turrets at once, you're more assured that they're all going to hit and not just splash harmlessly in the water. Um, so I do highly recommend using uh, multiple turrets uh, fired individually as opposed to just launching a full salvo. Of course, it's not as satisfying as firing a full salvo as I do right here. Uh, that's certainly a, a fun thing to do. But uh, once you get a feel for things, uh, you'll be able to do that more often. But certainly as you're starting off, using the individual shot method is one of the better methods. And the only one I'm really going to discuss right now uh, because I want to keep things basic and as simple as possible. And that uh, draws me to the conclusion of this video. I've uh, wanted to keep this as simple as possible, so I don't want to go into too much detail on other things. Uh, information overload is a real thing, especially when somebody's starting out uh, playing a new game, so kept it simple here. I am going to include two full battles here. I'm not going to do narration on them. They're just going to be... Uh, game sounds and just watch the games if you want the information is already given out there won't be any new information presented here but it is showing off the stuff that I was just talking about so uh, new players may want to take a look people who just popped into the video to see if there's anything new they can learn uh, I've already presented everything new so you can uh, go about your business as it were the um, videos here uh, they're not terribly long uh, so uh, I do recommend checking them out, but uh, I may even add voiceover later on uh, in separate videos uh, to these ones or other battles. But for right now, uh, real life's keeping me pretty busy, so uh, I only have time to uh, to do what I've done, and um, I'll leave it there for uh, for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. Enemy ship destroyed. Enemy ship locked.
about to win. The situation is under control. Good job! We're hit! We're under attack! Action stations. Target spotted. Locked on. Heavily damaged.
hit the enemy! 